Greetings everyone, my name is Raziel and today we are looking at the last legion to be re-released in the Dropside Massacre expansion, the Raven Guard. They are going to be releasing on Friday, so let's get into the first card. The first card I have for you is Sergeant Vikas, a 3 energy Astralis with 3 attack, 4 HP and the rally ability to give stealth to a friendly troop. I think this card is going to be a staple, uh, mainly because you are going to be playing an ambush troop in stealth. Then your turn comes around, it loses stealth, triggers ambush, and then you can play this guy, stealth it up again, declare an attack, it loses stealth again, and then you're going to be able to trigger ambush two times in a single turn, which is going to be especially good with the legendary troop that was already revealed that destroys a random enemy troop on ambush. So yeah, unless we get like a two energy troop that does virtually the same, this card is going to be great. Yeah, you're going to be running this potentially every day. The next card I have for you is the Darkwing Storm Eagle. 3 energy tactic that says deal 2 damage, and then repeat this effect on the random enemy for each friendly unit with stealth. Now, when I first looked at this, I thought this was pretty bad, but then I realized that sentence is a thing, so if the enemy has no troops and like sentence 2 on their warlord, this card deals 4 damage, and then another 4 damage for each friendly unit with stealth, which is gonna be pretty amazing as a finisher. So it's probably gonna be a tech card depending on the meta, so if it's again like something like Jagatai, it's gonna be mainly solo warlord, this card is gonna be great. So yeah, maybe not in the upcoming uh, weeks with mainly Raven Guard because they're gonna be stealth probably, so you can't even use this card unless you target your own warlord or something. But yeah, this card is definitely gonna see play depending on the meta. The next card I have for you is the Shadow Lord, an 8 energy Astartes with 8 attack, 8 health, Stealth and the Ambush ability to give plus one plus one to all your troops and play in the hand. Don't bother with this one. Um, mainly because I think that for 8 energy you're going to be having a lot of better options. And from what I've seen so far, I don't even think that going to 8 energy in the new Raven Guard is going to be something that's going to be happening a lot. So on paper it's a cool card, but again, if we're looking at some of the other cards that already got revealed, like the 7 energy legendary they just outclass this card by miles, so yeah, again, don't bother with this one. It's cool, but it's not going to be worth it. And finally, we have Veteran Tribus. 2 energy Astartes with 2 attack, 3 HP, stealth, and the 1 energy ability to give stealth to a friendly troop. Now, if this was the old stealth, again, so it would be permanently stealth, this card would be amazing. But with the new stealth, I think it suffers the same fate that Recon Claw and such are going to suffer. That you're most likely only going to be getting one turn of value from this, so like one energy ability. But then it's going to be like removed, so I think there's going to be better options. On paper it's a cool card, just like the Shadow Lord, I just don't think that it's going to be worth running over some other stuff that they're going to get. So yeah. It's a cool concept, but not going to be worth it probably. So that's it for my reveals. Uh, I think, and I'm probably not alone in this, uh, that the Raven Guard are going to be top of the meta when they release. Um, the stealth change is nice, it obviously doesn't only affect them, like looking at the Night Lords, I think they are going to be uh, significantly worse than before, but probably still playable. But yeah, stealth is still a damn good mechanic and ambush is super strong, most likely, so yeah, they're going to be meta, um, definitely to no one's surprise.